snow's got a bite out here. Sounds of fighting. Has something attacked the Karja fort? upon us this day. It wasn't the sun risking its ass down here. Will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her! Open the gates! And send word to Captain Balan. Where are you headed, girl? West! To Meridian! The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. Okay, thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. That's all there is of new plans. 
wondered, are all your kind hunters and fighters, or just a few? The balance is tipped towards shadow these days. I heard you talking about trouble in the new clans. Was that out loud? Years must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there? <laughs> Not with the Banuke wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. There's a trade route. I thought the Banuk kept to themselves. Uh, we Asaram and the Banuk are neighbors, after all. What's well, a few mountain ranges between friends? I have some acquaintances out there, still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but they say nothing seems to stick. All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. What were these new machines and spirits? Honestly, I don't even know. Going by the number of Banuk funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, if you reach my grand old age, you might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer, too. What is this place, the Cut? When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuk land, they left the Cut behind. So a battleground from the war. Like the valley outside the Sacred Land. Mm-hmm. Mountain Pass in the far north and east will get you there. It's open to outlanders, hardy ones, like you. Just don't expect much of a welcome. Especially not now. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. Cleanse the corruption? Might as well try to catch the light in your hand. I'm tired. I've worked enough for the last two lifetime. Captain Ballon? The guard at the gate said you'd been to Meridian recently. What can I expect on the trail? Nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I can put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. I let them confirm my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Walid, tell them what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. And now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King of Vod has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. The machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We stretched in to protect a few outposts like this one. That's for everywhere else. Well, travel at your own risk. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora. When they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King of Vod wants peace. So do the matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... Well... 
while your people recover from this terrible attack. I mean... What is this place exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian and sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Bad to make sure old Karja at this outpost show respect to the Nora. What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Avad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azuram. And the Sunring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the fallen. So the Karja are allied with the Azuram? Hard to believe, but it's true. Mad Sun King Juran raided the Azuram for years. Abad managed to get them on his side. He had help, of course. Ursa and Eren played a part. Azaram siblings, bigger than life. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them. Scaled the North Cliff with my men and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Juran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azaram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Nora still don't take well to the sight of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please say yes. What was that soldier? Nothing, sir. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful. But not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, Lunkhead? You might be off the hook. Who changes their mind, red hair? To get to the cut, I need to head through a mountain pass in the northeast, you said. From the valley meet, just keep going up until your skin starts to turn blue. That means you're on the right track.
find. With a helmet from the last Carter soldier. Someone nearly lost his head here and ran off. Everywhere. A machine dragged something into the water here. But maybe he made it to that island. Blood everywhere. I'm never really done. I brought down all the beasts, but I missed out on the feet. I wasn't expecting to be found, especially not by Nora. I wasn't expecting to find a half-clad Karjan soldier singing like a drunk. Well, I apologize for my um, behavior. I thought I was dead. Come on. Your commander asked me to bring you back to Day Tower. I refuse to be led back to my outpost by Nora, like some prisoner. Fine. Go by yourself. Wait. Look, I got in a tussle with a snap maw. It ate the half of me that was armor and bow. The thief is still in the water. I can't go back without a weapon. Find my bow, please. I'll get it. Just don't start singing again.
safe. For a few minutes, anyway. Here's your bow. Good luck out there. Thank you. I, uh, I didn't want to die in foreign lands like my men. May the sun light their passing. <laughs> <laughs>